feeling of being ridiculed or maybe scared of looking like a fool or damage your self-image. These are all feelings that may arise when we start doing something new. And that is something that I'm gonna dive deeper into in today's Journaling Monday. this subject is that realize that in order to master art you first have to look like a fool and I think that a lot of people try to cover up that uh, they are beginners by rushing an awkward face in their process of art no one wants to look like a beginner no one wants to look like a fool however I think that in order to become a master you really have to accept that you are a beginner, maybe you don't know much about art, but that mindset will help you to really absorb everything you need in those beginning stages. So in order to become a master, you really have to accept to look like a fool in the beginning. My well, second point here is to accept this comfort. What I mean by that is when you start something new, you will always feel anxiety and nervousness and you know feelings that you just want to quit and do something else that you're comfortable with. I want you to see those feelings as normal and something um, necessary and I would even argue that it's something good. Um, those feelings are really signs that your body is, is uh, telling you that you're out of your comfort zone. And being out of your comfort zone is not just a cliche, it's actually necessary in order to grow because you're pushing your limits and uh, thus developing. So when you start doing art, see those feelings as something positive because it means that you're actually growing as a person. My third and final point here is to find joy in practicing. I want you to practice for the sake of practicing and see the practice as the end goal itself. I think this concept is super important when it comes to master any skill really and especially when it comes to something like art. Because as I talked about in, um, in um, the Stop Painting Start Drawing video, uh, if you haven't seen it please check it out, it's here on, on, the, on the channel. There I talk about how you're never really finished with your art, there's always something more to learn. You can always expand and try different areas, different subjects, different mediums and by accepting and realizing that there are no finished stage in arts, it's much easier for you to accept and realize that it is the practice that is the end goal. And, um, and also something that ties into this is that we're not always chasing something else, chasing a finished stage in your art. It is much easier to be present and happy about just sitting down, spending hours upon hours just practicing because that is the end goal. Okay, that was all for this fifth episode of Journaling Monday. Uh, so five episodes guys. Uh, please give us some critiques in the comments what you think about this series, what we could improve about it if you like it, if we should stop doing it and start doing something else. Uh, I really enjoy it, especially because most of the things that I talk about in these videos come from my journal, things that I have thought about, things that I have written about, and it really is a good way for me to um, expand on subjects in my journal and then convey them to you. So. Please comment below what you think and uh, me and Fred will try to um, listen to your critique and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.